afternoon welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com today i will show you uh, example of flow layout in awt uh, with the help of netbin so you can um, see that if we have a frame uh, that layout is grid layout you can check uh, my previous video tutorial which is covered uh, grid layout so um, uh, a frame with the size is 500 width and 400 height uh, i want to create a create three button uh, this is uh, below uh, that command b a b3 b1 and b2 uh, perfect okay and cancel and button okay okay now this is the frame frame with grid layout okay end of the frame uh, with the layout is grid layout 2 by 2 i mean to say two rows and two columns add button in the frame that's fine b2 b1 and b3 these buttons are add frame in the manner of uh, grid layout cancel lock and perfect b2 is first add then b1 is second and b3 is third now i want to show i want to show you in the uh, flow layout view in place of grid layout so change with the flow layout the flow layout contain uh, all uh, component in a row in a single row without having uh, rows and columns okay if your uh, if your component touch with the boundary of the frame then comes uh, then assign to the second row this is the flow layout okay without any rows and columns so this is the flow layout of the frame b2 b b1 and b3 you can uh, assign that layout with any uh, container controls like panel uh, window and uh, frame so another take a simple example of flow layout so assign a grid layout with the two rows and one column create a panel control panel p1 now make a object of the panel p1 equals to new panel okay now set the panel uh, layout as flow layout so set layout as new flow layout Okay. and all of these buttons are added to the panel you can do this p1 dot add what b1 uh, p1 dot add b2 and in the frame add panel the first uh, row contain a panel and the second row contain a button that is b3 and panel contain two button b, uh, one and two b1 and b2 okay and cancel and the second row contain the all rows by the third button that is b3 
because in the grid layout we can rot resize the uh, size of the cell and the component sizes depend on the cell size so automatically assign the cell size by the component size okay so uh, i will explain it by using uh, paint this is the frame this is the first row and this is the second row in the grid layout this is the grid layout 2 by 1 of the frame structure 2 by 1 both are related to the grid layout two rows and one column two comma one in the grid layout now come to the panel part and add that panel in the first row of the frame so add a another uh, container in the first cell of the uh, frame of with the grid layout that is panel this is the panel control panel and the layout of the panel is flow layout and add two button in the um, panel uh, in the form of flow layout ok and cancel ok button cancel button in the form of flow layout ok now in the second row of the frame add the third button that is b3 and the size of the button is depend on the cell size so so in the second row the whole row contained by the button okay so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial please keep watching my all other video tutorial which is related to java and i promise you i will provide you better video tutorial which is related to java awt swings hibernate springs and android so please subscribe my channel and uh, learn many more things about java thank you thank you very much